Hey everybody, I am so excited for today's video because today I'm going to be reviewing Bondi Sands' new one hour express tanner. And the Bondi Sands is actually my favorite self tanner ever, even more than Loving Tan. And it's only usually $24, but I've recently found that on Amazon Prime, you can find it for $13 and it comes in two days. But they don't have the Express one yet, so I got this off BondiSands.com. And I'm so excited. The packaging. Okay, self tanning foam one hour Express. Typically, the regular one that I use, that's my all time favorite, is I keep it on for six hours, so I usually just sleep in it. This just came out, it's one hour Express. I'm very interested to see if this actually works because one hour would be great because six hours is a really long time. Oh, times, for 30 minutes you can get a light to medium, for one hour you can get dark, and for two to three hours, darkest. And I highly doubt 30 minutes would do anything, but whatever. Okay, so I just got out of the shower and took off a layer of skin and everything is hurting. But I'm all exfoliated, clean, uh, you can see how truly pasty, ghostly, blindingly white I am. So I'm going to go put this on, I'm probably gonna leave it on for an hour and I will be right back when I put this on. If you do want a full tutorial of how I do my self tan, please leave it in the comments below because I could surely do that. I do it pretty much all summer long so I've pretty much gotten the hang of it by now. Okay, I'm gonna go put this on and I will be right back. Okay, so I'm back. I just put on just one layer of tanner. What do you guys think about my nails, by the way? Are they too much? Are they not enough? Or are they perfect? Let me know in the comments because I kind of think they're perfect. Anyway, a couple things. Um, I forgot to mention I also ordered a Bondi Sands um, mitt just because I needed a new one. And I don't know if they came out with a new one or I just forgot how great they were, but it's, first of all, it's double-sided, and when they're not double-sided, I feel like I get stuff on the back and then it goes through to my hands, but this one's double-sided and it's not like the foam. It's like, I don't know if you can see it. It's like just really soft, it's like a blanket almost, and it doesn't like absorb too much product and it went on really, really nicely. Second, the foam literally came out like chocolate mousse and I wanted to eat it. I didn't, but I wanted to. It's not very dark, so we'll see how that goes, but I'm going to leave this on for an hour, and then I'll wash it off, and I will check back in with you. Okay, so it has been one hour. I just showered off the tanner, like the color guard. Uh, it looks a little bit light. I left it on for a little bit over an hour, which is supposed to be dark tan. Um, half an hour is for light or medium tan, and I, I mean, I'm definitely darker, don't get me wrong, but I don't know, what do you guys think? I, right now it's not very dark, it looks very natural, which is nice, but I don't know. Um, usually with this product though, throughout the day, and especially the second day, I'm the darkest, so I'm sure it's gonna continue to develop but as of right now, it's kind of what I expected. Um, usually at least like super expressed hands don't get that much color. Uh, I don't know if it's just me, but my skin does not hold the tan that well. Right now though, it looks really nice. I, I like the way it looks. There's no streaks, There's it looks very natural. Um, so not don't hate it, definitely did something, but I'm hoping that it gets a little bit darker. I don't think people that want a super dark tan would like this. Um, I would definitely leave it on for a lot longer for whatever the full time was to get a darker tan because I'm very, very light and this doesn't look that dark to me. But I will let you know how it goes and so far, not too bad, not great, not terrible, not bad at all, actually. It looks nice, but it's just not as dark as it said it would be. But I will let you know. So I just went ahead and put on some makeup and I'm just gonna go ahead and say that I 
give this product a thumbs up because it's not the darkest tan, but it's definitely been getting darker and it's only gonna keep getting darker. And it looks really natural. And for an hour, it's really good. Like waiting six hours is incredibly annoying. So this is pretty darn good for just an hour of my time. And I was doing other stuff anyway. So yeah, I really like it. I'll probably use it again. Um, the next time I do a tan because it's just so much faster and it looks really nice So I just wanted to check in I'm about to drive to the airport to pick up my boyfriend, but on my way out Dun 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 I don't oh Like my skin is so white that you can't there it, Like what is that? That has never happened I don't know if it's because it's really bad on this one. I don't know if it's because you know how you're not supposed to put on deodorant when you're doing your self tan. Maybe because it was still like developing when I took it off and then I put on deodorant, but it's like embarrassing. So I'm going to try to fix that with the, um, with the tanner later and just try to like put it on my pants but I just thought I would let you guys know that this situation happened and I'm not into it but I still like the rest of it it looks very natural um it hasn't gotten much darker actually but I will definitely leave it on for two to three hours next time that's like the deepest it could get and yeah I don't know that just has never happened before and I thought I would let you know um, other than that, I still like it. I mean, I'm going to use it again, but I need to fix my pits. Um, okay, that's it. So if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.